Megzyme provides an extensive range of assay kits for use in various assay formats, including auto-analyzer, microplate, and manual spectrophotometer. This glycerol assay kit can be used to accurately measure glycerol in various sample types throughout industries such as food and beverages. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the assay kit with a wine sample using the manual spectrophotometer format. It is important to measure glycerol in wine as it is produced during fermentation and is primarily associated with the texture and mouthfeel of wine. This kit contains sufficient reagents for either 70 or 140 manual assays and is supplied with a detailed data booklet. The principle of the enzymatic reactions involved in the measurement of glycerol is shown in this figure. Glycerol is phosphorylated by ATP in the presence of glycerokinase. D-glucose is phosphorylated by the enzyme ADP glucokinase and ADP glucose 6-phosphate. In the presence of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, the glucose 6-phosphate formed in the second reaction is oxidized by NAD to gluconate 6-phosphate with the formation of NADH. The amount of NADH formed is stoichiometric with the amount of glycerol. It is the NADH which is measured by the increase in absorbance at 340 nanometers. Prior to sample analysis, the kit components should be prepared as described in the kit data booklet. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the manual assay procedure. All of the kit components, except bottle two, are used as supplied. The contents of bottle two are dissolved in 7.5 milliliters of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly to ensure complete dissolution. For longer term stability, do not dissolve the contents of the second bottle until required. Follow the manual assay procedure as described in the data booklet. Pipette all assay components except the final trigger enzyme in bottle 4 into each assay tube. A blank reaction and a standard reaction must be performed with each batch of samples. Pet 1.5 milliliters of distilled water into all assay tubes. Pet 0.1 milliliters of sample to sample assay tubes. Pet 0.1 milliliters of distilled water into blank assay tube. Pet 0.1 milliliters of bottle 5 kit standard into standard assay tube. Pet 0.2 milliliters of solution 1 into all assay tubes. Pet 0.2 milliliters of solution 2 into all assay tubes. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle three prior to dispensing. Pipette 20 microliters of suspension three into all assay tubes. When all of the components have been added, mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes in the 37 degrees Celsius heating block for approximately four minutes. After four minutes, record the first absorbance reading A1 at 340 nanometers for all of the acid tubes. In this demonstration, we are using the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer set to read at 340 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectrophotometer with one centimeter path length cuvettes can be used. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle four prior to dispensing. After recording the A1 absorbance value, 
prepare 20 microliters of the trigger enzyme glycerokinase into all assay tubes. Mix the tubes thoroughly and incubate them at 37 degrees Celsius for 7 minutes to allow the reaction to go to completion. Record the absorbance reading A2 for all of the acid tubes. This absorbance reading completes the measurement of glycerol. The absorbance readings A1 and A2 of the sample and the blank reactions are used to calculate the glycerol concentrations in the original samples. When performing this test using the pre-installed protocol on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the results will be automatically calculated and printed via the onboard printer, or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see our Megaquant Wave video for further details. If the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples, the calculations of glycerol content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the kit booklet. Megasyme has also developed specific Excel-based MegaCalc applications for each Megasyme kit to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this glycerol kit which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the blanks. For each sample, input the sample identifier and the absorbance values for the samples. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 milliliters is used. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is 1. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of glycerol in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract grams per litre. The concentration of glycerol in the solid samples is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample. 